Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Suresh from Mizrata Mission Channel. Today in this session, we will see how we can record a JMeter scripts using a recorder controller. So let's get started. So we have to select a template. So for that, I will go to this templates and select the recording controller. So this is a recording and click create. Now we have to provide host to record. I will go to one of the application. This is the orange HRM open source HRM application. I will copy this URL and go to my host to record. So here we have to remove after dot com. You have to remove entire thing like endpoints and before a domain name start, we have to remove all the HTTP colon and because HTTP colon is already there because schema to record. So this recording output file will be named as recording dot XML. You can change the name I'm leaving as it is and click on create. After creating, I will get a test plan, test plan with user defined variables. So this is a user defined variables, which is a host name. Host name will be our uh, open source demo or in HRM live dot com. And uh, this is the HTTP request defaults. And uh, we have a cookie manager and we have a thread group. So thread group also you can see there is a, a number of threads is one ramp up time is one. So this is a default option that is created and there is a view results tree. Then you have a HTTP test script recorder. So this is a disabled now. I will right click and click on enable. After opening this test script recorder, you will see global settings, which is a port number and HTTP domain. So domain name we can leave empty because it's a default request defaults is pointing to our host URL and the target controller to record this entire script. I will use the uh, test plan recording controller. So let me go and see whether we have a recording controller in this. Now you can see there is a recording controller. So all my scripts will come and settle here. Right now I will open this. Now you can see there is the only view results tree in this and the test script recorder. I will say grouping. Uh, so for grouping do not group any sampler or add separate or between the groups. So I will mention this as separator. Now the first and foremost thing is we have to start this script recorder so that you will get a root CA certificate generator in the bin folder. For that you need to simply click start and you can see root CA certificate of JMeter will be in the bin directory. So it is created even though if it is not available it will automatically create. So I will click stop and I will go back to my JMeter bin directory. So this is a bin directory. I can see root CA certificate temporary root CA certificate will be available here. Now I will open my browser and I will open a new tab here. I will go to settings. So settings to configure our proxy. So for that I will use a proxy. In the Chrome browser you have to click on open your computer proxy settings. Now you can see automatically detect the settings. I will disable this and here you will find the manual proxy settings. So I will set up a proxy setup. So here by default it will point into the local host. You need to name it as local host port is 8080 and click on save. Now come back to JMeter. Now port is ready and uh, proxy setting is also ready. We have to click start. Now again it will say the same thing root CA certificate if it is not available it will create. Now for the first time I am launching an application for that I will say launch. So I'm naming something so that our record will understand. Okay, this script belongs to launch. Now I will go to application. So this I will keep here and here I will copy this URL and paste it again. Now after we set up a proxy setting, if our application launches for the first time, which means that we have correctly configured our proxy and all certificate has been correctly installed or imported to the uh, root CA certificates are been correctly imported to our managed certificates. Now, so this is done. Now you can see I have kept the launch here, right? So this launch, what does it mean to here in the JMeter is automatically there will be a grouping called launch will be named. If you go to this thread group and that recording controller, you can see there is something which is already there here. You can see there is a launch launch related naming. There is a uh, n number of request samples are here. So we will see later on 
why those many launch those those many launch related samples are created. I will now minimize. And after launching, what is the next step? We have to do is a login. So for that, I will name it as login. Login. Now I will login with details. Now I will click login. So now we have successfully logged in. So this is a home page that we are seeing. So after that, I will simply change this and change it as logout. Right. Now I will click here on the profile and click logout. So we have did the three things: launching the URL and login and logout. So I will stop the recording and go back to my Jmeter. Now. There will be no samples will be updated in the test script recorder because we have pointed out everything to the recording controller. Now in the recording controller, if I expand it, you can see there is a multiple launch samples are being created like this. And after that, you have a login. So there is a login related also. You can see there are many samples created and logout also. You have many samples created here. Now how to understand which sample is with respect to our application. So for that, what we can do is we can simply go one after the other. So I will click this application uh, first sampler. So the sampler we have to understand is the server name, server name or IP, which is pointing to a different host, which this is not belongs to us. So the first one is not belongs to us. And second one also not belongs to the same domain. Third one, fourth, fifth, sixth, so all the six are not belongs to the same domain, which means that we can remove this all these samplers. So I'm simply deleting it. Now again launch. So this this is belongs to our application because we are using a request defaults, right? Request defaults, which is which is pointing to our open source demo orange HRM life dot com. So this is belongs to our application. So that we can keep and next one is also uh, with our domain because uh, it is also using the same domain and this is the endpoint. And third one is not belongs to a same domain. Fourth one belongs to same domain. So I will remove the third one. So like this we have to search and remove all the unwanted samples. So this one and this one is not belongs to same domain. Right. Now within the login also, I will do the same thing and I will remove all the unwanted samples. All right, I have removed all the unwanted samples. So I will remove this sample the controller separator. So I will try to remove it. Right. So we have everything here. What I will do, I will simply right click on my thread group and add, go to listeners, then again view results tree. So the, for the first time, we will try to keep the load as one one and ramp up time as also one and simply try to run this controller. So again, I will go to my test script recorder and I will disable it. All right, so I think there is two, two, there is already one view results tree is there. So I will try to remove this one right go to the start or you can directly click here start so I'm starting this so it is asking me to save this so I will say no and let me go to your results tree now you can see everything uh, is running fine so it is giving me all samplers right so it has performed so our successful run was done and there are some failures so we will see failures later now I can go to one of the other uh, sampler request uh, results I will go to response time so it is also working and I get response response it's coming here and here login login right so the samples which are failing is 401 session expired so there is a session expire related things are also coming but somehow it is not it is also trying to re-login right 
so why it is failing and what is the reason behind it so we will see later on but most of our sessions uh, samples are working fine which means that we have successfully recorded our scripts and executed our scripts and this is how we can uh, do a separation using a prefixing name so far whatever we discussed in this session is we have created a template called recording controller or test script recorder we can directly launch the test script recorder also but we have selected the template this is to make sure that user defined variables and http request defaults and cookies are created by default and next thing is we have did our root ca certificate generated and we have inputted that certificate into our managed certificates and also set up the proxy manual proxy settings in the manual format in the, our system for the default browser of chrome and later on we have run and then we recorded all the login logout related sessions and we have re-executed all of them and i have shown you right how to filter it out which service or which endpoint or which sampler request belongs to our domain and in the upcoming session we will see more content on this topic hope this small session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching